before going on to do great things, sometimes you gotta start off doing some lesser known things. Prior to becoming known as Rockstar North, the makers of the 3D Grand Theft Auto games, DMA mostly did sequels to Lemmings, but also a 3D platformer for the N64 called Space Station Silicon Valley. And let me just tell you this right now, the game is friggin' weird. Basically, you're a robot who's lost his body, but has the ability to take over the bodies of animals found aboard a space station. The further you progress, the more jacked up slash awesome the animals become. You go from ordinary sheep to sheep that can bounce on springs, from harmless dogs to dogs that can shoot missiles, and there are even rats that can drop quote-unquote mines. It's poop. Explosive poop. But then they get even wilder than that. There are war camels, walruses with propellers, helicopter rabbits, turtle tanks, and even dogs with airplane wings. If you don't find that hilarious, you'll hate this game. Hey, watch this bear fight the missile firing dog. Major! I actually think that's Silicon Valley's strongest point, it's random sense of humor. Aside from the ridiculous animals you come across, some of the missions just involve some of the strangest things. I'd list them all off, but we only have time for one video game vault. The funny moments kind of compensate for the fact that Silicon Valley isn't exactly a terrific looking game. Super Mario 64, a launch title, was a better looking game than this, and it came out like two years earlier. But did you know that technically this game is unbeatable? Hardcore fans, you know what I'm talking about. One of your goals is to gather collectibles, but you know what can make that pretty difficult? Not being able to pick up the collectibles! Some programmer failed so hard that in one of the levels, you just walk straight through it. Unfortunately, this game came out before the age of downloadable patches for console games, but on the upside, it was also when cheat codes were still common. By using one of these cheats, you can still unlock the secret level that you would have unlocked normally, but you'll never be able to get a true 100% completion. Ever! So at the end of the game, the bad guys shrink the earth, you crash land on the earth, the animals start running free, and you gotta destroy them all, something like that, I don't know. At that point, I kinda determined that even though I'm sure plenty of you have fond memories of Silicon Valley, I just don't think that it's aged all that well. Like I said, the game's hilarious, but as soon as you take that away, you're left with a pretty basic 3D platformer that, for some, just gets really old after a while. Apparently, even if you're not playing it. Craig, why are you so pissed about this game? Like, it's not great, but it's not... Like, why is it irritating? Okay, nails on chalkboard? That's what it sounds like when you shoot the stupid ray. Do it, I dare ya. No, don't! I'm not even kidding, don't. <laughs> Craig, I'm not kidding, you stupid <laughs> little Twitter that! Yeah. No, this is going in the vault. God. Good! I was like 12 animals away.